welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you an excellent protocol that you can use that simplifies everything you do across Ethereum. It's called Zapper. Now I just want to quickly call out that what I'm showing you is not financial advice. I'm merely show showing you the tools you can use to access various uh, decentralized finance protocols. So Zapper. Why I love this so much is it really aggregates all the information about your Ethereum wallet and shows you where you have what. And I'll, I'll, I'll take you through it and you'll see why it's so brilliant. So when you land on the page, the first thing you ask, either you can type in your address or connect to your MetaMask wallet. So in, today I'm just going to connect up to the wallet. Pick MetaMask, bam. Now I've got a wallet here that has a bit going on and I wanted to do that so that you could see how it populates all the different bits of information for various protocols uh, and what I'm going to do a little later is I, I'm going to show you how you can use Zapper to invest into various protocols uh, however I'm, I'm going to also show you how I connect the dots between Zappa and the protocol I'm about to use so that I, I can make sure I am going into the right um, uh, pools or whatever I'm trying to do via Zappa. So let's just quickly take a look. As you can see, it's connected through to my wallet. It's displaying the amount in American dollars. It's got my total of what's happening in this particular wallet. Um, over here, account overview, you can see it's got my wallet. If I click on it, it's got a few different tokens that I have. Uh, uh, investments, this is great, I'll talk through. So this is uh, another protocol, DeFi protocol, where you can buy real estate. So I have a few tokens here and there. And you can see, based on my Ethereum address, it aggregates that information. You can see over here, the various platforms that, are, that I have connected to my Ethereum account, this account, this address, it it populates the information and displays it here. So you can see if I click on compound, I have a little bit of the comp token through the mining program and I have a small amount of BAT in there that's generating me a very tiny interest, not even worth it. But for the purpose of this example, it's great. You can see how Rather than going to Compound and Maker and Pull Together, I can actually just see everything on one screen and what's happening. So that's a bit about the dashboard here. Then you, they have actually implemented this brilliant feature in Exchange, so you can swap using the uh, Zapper protocol that's connected to Uniswap. So it just makes it easier in the in the same spot you could swap between tokens. And the Invest tab. This is what I wanted to zone in on. So one of the great things about Zappa is one, it, it aggregates all the information, but two, you can use it to zap into various protocols like Uniswap, Balancer, Curve, um, and some of the yield farming uh, protocols that exist, which why earn, which I'll, I'll, I'll talk through in a moment, um, how we connect the dots there. But what it does is, some of these require specific tokens. Zappa will let you, in one transaction, zap it into the desired state. Whereas if you wanted to do it on different protocols, you would have to use uh, zap it. You'd have to uh, swap into various tokens, and three or four transactions later, you'll have the token you need to deposit into that protocol. So Zappa simplifies this process, and that's what's so brilliant about it. So, and, and what I want to do is I want to take you through a, a live example here of how I use Zapper and what I actually do to connect the dots to make sure I am going into the right pools. So you can see over here, just currently, I have got a bit of dye put into the what and why, um, into the vault there. I have a small, some of my balance tokens in one of the forks of um, the YM protocol. And I was part of the uh, synthetics reward program when I was uh, had some liquidity deposited, and I earned this, and I haven't claimed it due to very high gas fees. So let, let's let me talk you through how we can use this. So it's simple. Click on the invest button, and as you can see, it allows you. Uh, 
it's got your wallet information and what pool you want to go to. So you heard me say Uniswap, Curve, Balancer. So these are some of the options it allows. Uh, I want to talk about Wireon today and I'll show you why. So here are all the different vaults. Now I'm going to pause it there and flick over to Wireon. So what I like to do is I like to look at the actual protocol and what I need to put my deposit into where and then come back to Zapper to make sure I know what's going on. So I've come here, I'll connect it in. As you can see, as soon as I've connected, obviously uh, Zapper told me I was in wire and I had a bit of, I got an ETH and a bit of die, and the rest, you can see it, it shows it over here and uh, ETH over here. So what is why and why? Uh, today I'm going to focus on the vault section. And what that is, is it's essentially where you deposit your funds and they've got automated strategies in place that uh, farm, mine some of the governance tokens that are being issued across various protocols. And as soon as it mines it, it sells it and adds it to your, adds it back to your total as interest. And that's why some of the interest rates you can see over here are quite high for the year. But that's what it does. I'm not going to, that's extremely high level, I have, I'm not going to go into detail about how the strategy works, it's more about how you use the protocol and why Zapper makes this so easy. So here we are, here's the vault, I'm going to focus, oh this one looks good over here, and this has got a yearly a return of 70% on your stable coins. So why can't I just come here and put the money in that I want? Well. One of the reasons is, as you can see, for me to deposit, I need to have this token here, Y-Curve, which is the token you get when you deposit your funds into the Curve protocol, Curve Finance. But I haven't, I haven't got that, I've just got USDC. So for me to now get the money into here, I would have to go to Curve, deposit, and keep in mind when you use it, if it's the first time you have to approve your account, then do a deposit, then it will give me the tokens, then I come here, do an approval, and then deposit it in to start earning interest. Now this is where Zapper comes in. So I've established I want to go into this. I'll head back to Zapper. Okay, I'll close this and we'll start again. So I'm going to click invest. And before I touch this, select your pool, because I notice this always refreshes if you make changes up here. I'm going to go, I want to put it into the y -own. Now, and I'm going to pick the Y curve vault. Now, over here, I'm going to change this to USDC. As you can see, it gave, gives me an option. Just, I want to touch on this. It'll always default to ETH. Okay. Now, make sure you know what you want to deposit. If it is, you want to move your ETH into it, that's that's fine. However, if, if it is a stable coin, ensure you go and pick your stable coin. Otherwise, it will move your ETH into whatever you're trying to deposit it into. So you can see here, I've just hit max for the purpose of this demonstration. Now, one of the little things, I've picked y -curve vault, but see, there's quite a lot of vaults here. Now, I want to make sure I've picked the right one. So some of the things I do, and you can see, again, when I clicked on it, it reset it, so always keep an eye on that. Click on max. I can see over here, the output is YUSD. And yes, I'm putting in 264 and I'm getting in a lot less, getting out a lot less. That is because the token you get back from YN is an interest-bearing token. Hence, it's always slowly going up in value based on how much uh, it's generating. That's why there's a discrepancy there, so nothing to worry about. I'll go back to YN and just looking through here, I can see if I deposit this, it will give me back the token YUSD. This is how me personally, I connect the dots that I know, yes, I'm going into the right vault uh, because there's a few. If I, if I picked um, YUSDC over here, if I look down, that, that's what would tell me I've just found and this is a bit different. Obviously, this is giving me a higher return, um, but I just want to put purpose of uh, clarity and and to to build that confidence in using these protocols because again with gas fees that as high as they are today is a great day actually but the the amount you pay you want to make sure you're going into the right uh, 
right pool that, that you plan to. So I'll just come back up here. 70%, I know, looking at this, that the final outcome would be YUSD. Go back to Zappa. I'll just pick my Y cobalt USDC. So here you go. I know this is correct. Now, remember uh, I said every time you use a new protocol, if you knew, even though I've used the YM protocol, it's the first time I'm using this vault with USDC. So it will ask me to approve the transaction. Now I'm just clicking on it. I'm not going to approve this because I don't want to uh, zap this in at the moment. But you can see the approval is much cheaper after this gets confirmed, then the actual zap will take place. And I'm going to reject this. Now remember what, what the zap is doing, and that's what's so great, is basically bunching four of those individual transactions that I would have to go to to get the particular token to deposit into YEARN. It's doing all of that for me and giving me the final interest-bearing token for this pool, which is YUSD. So I'll just close out of this. So once I've done that and it would approve, straight away when you come back to the dashboard and you click on YEARN, it would show me that, okay, now I'm in that vault as well, what my balance is and the current value, as it is at the moment, what I have in there. So I hope this has helped with what Zappa is. Uh, this is all I use. Uh, now, Zappa currently, there's a lot of new protocols just coming up every day. They do their best to update as quick as possible. Their team is extremely responsive on Discord. You can go ask questions, they help out, which is fantastic. Uh, however, those those protocols that have been around for a while, like your makers, compounds, are they all those decentralized um, protocols are supported and as soon as you you can use zappa or if you have used those protocols individually when you land and connect your wallet to this to this uh, protocol it will aggregate and show you the information you have over here uh, of everything you've been using so Again, just a summary, today the goal was to introduce you to Zappa and then show you how you can use Zappa to connect what pools or uh, protocols you want to use. So hope that has helped. I, I In the future, we'll talk through Uniswap and the various protocols individually, but I, I thought Zappa is a great starting point because it, it really helps simplify the whole process of um, investing into various protocols and by investing i mean adding liquidity or partaking in some of the yield farming that exists at the moment thanks for watching if there's anything you'd like to know just add some comments and i'll hope to help out in the best way i can cheers